We have a semi-final, another best of five in Lin. We were waiting for a human versus orc to come up to challenge Lawlight in the final, but it is random, random, and they get human mirror. <sighs> Wonderful. This can only be fun. So first to three. If they both play Breaker Wars now. They are bad people. First to three challenges Lawlight for the 10 points. At the moment, we are not 100% sure if uh, the colors are correct, but Remo will get that clear for us. It's an Archmage start on Northern Isles. That's so pretty if obvious. In, if he's in the top right, in the blue. All right. be in the top right in the blue so of course they will scout this now they don't know that it's a human mirror but yeah what kind of cheese strats are there in human mirror except tier three yeah expo tier three knights which is a uh, kind of the coolest strat in human mirror is that gonna be the plan so the footies see each other and now they know what's up Infi must have the biggest smile on his face. Like, it's already hard enough for Fortitude and TH to take maps off of him in Human Mirror. And now... It's up to Lin with his off race. Is this the first time ever in a pro game we see Lin off racing? No, he played this before in some qualifiers. against. I think it was against Law Lion. Yeah? Kind of makes sense though. We're gonna see Rogue Warriors versus ELL. Maybe saving strategy, saving timing, saving creep routes. So in a straight up break of mirror, this should be unwinnable for Lin. But we never know. On his stream, he's playing a lot of random, I guess, or off race. But then on the other side, uh, he told me once that he got flamed a little. Uh, Whenever he's off racing. So maybe just mainly orc. Neo says in a breaker mirror it's impossible for Infi to lose. In my opinion, in breaker mirror everyone loses. So we'll see if it comes to that. Well, maybe the game is gonna be over after five minutes because we have a lightning shield. This could cause some trouble. Oh, forward scout tower. I like that. Still protecting the workers everywhere. It would be interesting to see if Lin has a different approach to Human Mirror. When Infi played Orc Mirror against Fly, that screw tier 2, we're gonna race to tier 3 and win with Torrin, and that happened. Level 3, unlocked here nice and early. Lin needs to get something done. A few peasant kills, a few footy kills. He needs level three. Oh, wait. Actually, the militia creep is doing that for him. That's pretty good. But he's not quite there yet. He's now. But... Infi's forcing him away. Takes a couple of hits on his footman. Moves them all back nicely. Can't take this fight anymore, though. Oh, is Infi forgetting about the farm? Macro mistake. Nice deny. Got that down. Oh, what a mental advantage. Both spending their last mana on this summon. This kind of prevents a lightning shield water elemental in the main of Infi. That's a lot of hurt footmen. There's a shop coming up already. For the regen scroll and the mm, uh, this time. Farm power build. Almost makes up for the slight slight delay on the MK. Can go for it now. That's how is it that Lin's footmen are all super healthy and Infi is so hurt? Maybe from the creep camp? Quite a bit of damage there from the Tuskars. 
as late as he did. That's a lot of footies, though. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah. Is that eight footies? Yeah. Oh, nice surround. A bit more experience. We all know how much Infi appreciates level 4 AM. Do you know what he also appreciates? Tier 2 expansions. And I wonder if the high footman number is the reason for that. But... Yeah, he's going that direction. Doesn't have the resources yet, though. Also not quite... Low peasant numbers. Power building on the sanctums. On both of them. Yeah. Usually what we see, right? Double or two peasant power build. Pretty effective. MK comes in. Is going to soak up a bit of experience here. And then if you could grab the merchant, that would be outstanding. He's scouting ahead with a footy as well. I kind of like that. Makes this camp safe for him, or at least gives him some intel. But also, costs the footman's life. Thanks to hammer time. But it is going to be a big creep. To Lin, the lion horn is an excellent item. He's fighting a Stormbolt now. And that's pretty much impossible. So that's resulting in one kill. But one of the unique creep spots gone. Going to inf uh, going to Lin. It's still level 2 for the MK. They're going Priest. They stay on tier 2. Remo, isn't that a dream come true for you? No fun, huh? Just tired and disappointed. Goddamn Breaker Mirror. Looking forward to Lin's micro in that Breaker Mirror. I kind of expect his MK to be a little overexposed. It's really important to run back and forth properly to not uh, expose yourself too much to the enemy Stormbolt. And that Stormbolt's going to be pretty strong here soon. Lightning both shield. MKs are level 2 right now. Now, oh, yeah. Infi, oh, sending the footman back in. That's tons of damage, but probably not resulting in any kills. Oh, except the Watson Mansion. That's level 4, level 2 aura. And he's running away in experience heavily. Like, two-thirds of a level already ahead. Pretty even trading now, though, here between these footies. No militia can be called, as both are trying to set up an expansion. One shot, one kill with the Stormbolt. When is the Dispel finally finished? Adept training on the priests. There we go. Quite some losses for Lit. Many footmen died. Mountain King is a little out of position there as well. Standing in Infi's marsh pit. Very close to level 3 now, isn't he? Oh, and there we go! Level 2 Stormbolt unlocked. And the expansion almost finished across the map. Lightning Shield looking a little desperate right here. Another priest falling. Infi just... No mercy, right? <laughs> He's not fooling around. He's not having fun. He's just in killing mood today. Yeah. It's weird, right, how they're playing random, seemingly out of enjoyment, and then they play super tryhard mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bit that of measure Arthur. call from the main trying to help out, but One kill he's just not giving up. He's not letting loose. He has so much more mana than Lin has. Lightning shields were pretty ineffective. Both with the expo up now. Blacksmith for upgrades. No fun tier 3 on either side. First breaker for Lin coming. Infi's retreating a little, getting that shop control. Also getting up a blacksmith. He lost way fewer peasants, so he should have a much easier time getting to tier 3. Uh, getting to upgrades, I mean. Ha! <laughs> you see, that was just my brain dreaming but that's not gonna happen this game oh no we're gonna have breakers and upgrades all the way through maybe a zeppelin mm -hmm. creep check now two creeps still alive should be easy kills though 
This archer is four and a half. Long range storm bolt to prevent the counter storm bolt. Pendant of energy for Infi. <laughs> He's a level ahead. <laughs> Couple of losses for Infi now. With the breakers coming in. Blacksmith now for Lin as well. A player's forces are under attack. And more creeping for Infi once that level 5. Uh, coming for the backstab. Supply is even somehow. Those priests are really exposed. One easy kill. MK mana fairly low. Uses it on the enemy. Mountain kick. Lots of mana drained with that also. And already the first attack upgrade here for Infi. He's getting the first armor upgrade as well, so he's gonna have quite the lead here soon. But Lin followed up with his own blacksmith. And it's also queuing in those upgrades. Yeah, second uh, upgrade for Infi with the defense. Lin, of course, has that with the devotion or pretty much for free. Finally level 4 after the next kill. Damn, that's so brutal. He's constantly fighting two levels up. Makes things so easy for Infi. That's level 4. That's finally additional mana regen. Still waiting for that level 2 Stormbolt. Running away. In Yuumira against MK always difficult. Some nice breaker blocks here. Securing a few kills for Infi, who is extremely close now to level 5. Oh, that's level 4 MK. And one or two more kills, and he's gonna have the next level up. Mana potion available. Is he going for it? No. Trying to break the base. Lin with a scroll of healing. That's an advantage. A player's force oh, second attack attacked. upgrade for Infi. Once again, the priest here a little bit exposed. This time it's the case for Infi, though. A good focus fire on these breakers. Level 5. Level 3 Brilliant Zora. So much mana for the priest, so much the spell, so many storm bolts. And Lin's army a little bit all over the place. But again, priest exposed. Get some kills right there. And Lin not forced into that heal scroll. Quite surprising. Quite a few bashes coming out now on level 2, that's a 30% chance. And buys from the marketplace. Lyria's Flute of Accuracy. Another great attack upgrade. And what a peaceful life Infi's peasants have. How stressful it must be for Lin all the time. Brave going for the scorpions now. They don't have control magic yet, do they? Nope. Just uh, dispelling the water elementals at all times rather than stealing them. It's That's always free experience to the spell. Yep. Great concave for Infi. 2 1 plus the flute. A little bit of a res with water elemental and spellbreaker by Lin now. Trying to catch a break. Really like the inventory as well on the MK of Infi. Super raid boss mode again. So tanky. EHP is so sick, yeah. Putman got some kills, I guess. So, the time to break this now. 2 2 on the way. Heavy focus on the Mountain King up here. Quite low already. Has the invul still to make use of. And again, good focus fire by these breakers. 2-2 two, two upgraded now against 2-1. But thanks to the aura, it's basically equal. But certainly a noticeable supply lead now for Infi. Lightning Shield on the Water Elemental. Dispelled. But 
that's not much mana for the priests anymore. What elementals still rage in there? Oh, and it's such a huge concave for Envy. Feels like this is the point of no return. Heal scroll was used before. And that's GG. That is the human mirror going to Envy. Quel surprise! <laughs> Yeah, he's well, looking good there, Mr. Enfi. Yeah. Probably the best human mirror player of all time. I could see that. So Thank you, Bashti, for the prime sub. Much love. Map 2 is actually going to be Twisted Meadows. I thought for certain one of these two was... Going to be vetoing this. Yeah, I thought no. so too. Twisted and Terran, as I thought, would be the vetoes. That's pretty cool. So which race combo are we going to get next? Of course, you have to announce your race at, before the series starts. And they both chose random. They have to stick now with random. Anything. <laughs> would be kind of funny if we just happened to roll five mirrors in a row. <laughs> Oh, yeah, five human mirrors. I want to get you tilted. <laughs> I think at the third human mirror, you would just stand up and leave and let me do it until that is over. You come back for for the final. Yeah, human mirror is uh, literally the worst. Did you know that uh, Lawlight is a very good human mirror player as well? Maybe he goes for that as well. And we have 10 human mirrors in a row. <laughs> Stop it, Neil. Well, I've already seen that's not going to be a human mirror. Thank goodness. Spoiler. So have something else. So what is it then? Infi's going to be Night Elf. I don't know about Lin yet. And that is Infi's second best race, most likely. We've also seen him play really well Orc before. And even some Undead, especially in 2v2. Yeah, I haven't seen him play Night Elf in a long time, actually. Are you saying he's not good anymore? No, just that I don't know. So, as you said, his Undead play in 2 and 2, so his Orc play throughout this qualifier. And, of course, his Human plays. But usually TH is the one going Night Elf off race. Use, of course, to abuse Night Elf quite a bit during the Keeper meta, where we remember Infi got a third place, it was, right, at WGL? Infi? Yeah. This WGL? No, no. Ah, that, that, that w, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, that was also against Lin. Yeah. Yeah. Top three night off back then. Ooh. Things have changed. So, game is up. We join in. What Ooh. do we get? Lin face, uh, gets Orc. Main race for Infi in game one. Main race for Lin in game two. Infi with the lead. At one point, he was like the second to third best Night Elf in the world with his off race. So he knows this inside out. Welcome to Twisted Meadows. And Lin is going for the lab. And he thrived during the Keeper meta. Doesn't mean he's going to play Keeper here as well. Very likely. Yeah. Can see it now. Oh, Ooh. it's not. It's Demon. On this map. He's not going to try to play Talents, though, is he? On this map? That would be crazy. Remind showed us that you can play Bears only. Against Lin's Kodo control, though? Ah. Wow. No Keeper. Keeper is by far the best. Run by, harass, delay, macro, expansion kind of hero. And all those adjectives perfectly fit Infi's playstyle. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he's going Demon is massively surprising me. Taking a bit of a gamble, going for an Ancient of War creep early. If the Blade Master is scouting for this and is harassing this, this can turn very quickly into a disaster. 
but you can go for a bit of a calculated risk and say to yourself, well, Orc early on tries to rock Gallim Creep anyways, don't they? So, with that calculation, it seems like Infi is spot on. If now, in addition to the creep, he could delay the creeping of his opponent as well, that would be perfect. But I don't think the Wisp has the timing down. Should be a successful trap. And it is. It's a trap! So, usually this item here is crap. For some reason. Belt of Giant Strength, usually number one pick. Or not pick, but drop. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, Listen. and Agitome. Hell yeah. Very good drops. For both. Is he creeping the Murkab with one archer? What? <laughs> Shadow Priest as well. Some infi magic right here. You would never see this from another Night Elf. And there might be a reason for this. Because your engine is under heavy fire. Oy, oy, oy. Yeah, if a Blade Master and a Grunt show up here. This Ancient of War is down, is dead, this Archer is dead, Shadow oh! Priest is dead. Look at them go! Wait, what's he doing? Oh, backstep, he's trapped! Ah, oh, no he's not. Nice bundle of mana steal, and now it's night time. Archer can go into Shadow Melt as well. Ancient of War will be falling, but I guess... Did his job. Yeah, gets the last hit there as well. Oh, Lin gets the Berserker. That's a really big deal. <laughs> Quite a funny game so far. No hunts at all, so just skip whatever is meta. Archer, hunts, whatever. All gone. Look at that save on the Shadow Priest. Ah, no way. Is he actually getting away? <gasps> Night time. Can you save him? Really good attempt, though. It's buying a lot of time. Thank you, Nightcool, for the Prime Sub. Three years in a row. Thank a you for being by our side, my man. Tech here is certainly a little bit faster. For the orc, thanks to all the whisper pair that was required earlier. TP sold, staff, bot. Looks like Lin is expecting this to go in a macro direction. But it's kind of old school night elf looking for the tier two buildings without a beastmaster so far. But a town is under siege. Preventing beast three at large. Is he actually going Players normal talents? On there's this no, map. There's no hunt soul. TC coming. Totem Beast coming. Master. Beastmaster talent bomb. Beastmaster! Okay. Lin is so good against talents. This is a horrible map for talents. And it's not Infi's main. So, this is gonna be interesting. And there's also no Ancients of Wind coming up yet, because mm -hmm. the Blade Master is cancelling over and over. Because this is really not a wall off at all in the Night of Main Days. <laughs> Perhaps a bit of a problem. A player's force. Oh. TC comes out. Aura. I don't think he can cancel this totem. That's Maybe the problem. He can the TC. You don't have staffs, right? Just a tally. Oh, Engine of Wind on the left-hand side, but Lin finds it anyway. Yeah, and that should be enough damage, right? That Agi Tome. Hell yeah. Proxy oh. buildings all over the place. Actually. Yeah. Uh, is he... Can he just still kick it? Yeah. So Mind kick it, repair. so kick it. Oh, oh, you got it. He does got it. There goes the Ancient of Wind. Oh my god, these towns are going to be so delayed. <laughs> Alright, no reinforced defenses, trying to get this burrow. Oh man, the work this Blade Master did this game. Surreal. <laughs> so 
So, Beastery and Totem up. TC on the field. Let's grind. Dude, if these two Ancients of Wind ever get found and a couple of raiders take them out, hmm? <laughs> Infi is going to be in deep trouble. Hmm? I think Infi is already in deep trouble. Yes, and uh, that's also true. But, you know, no matter how deep you are in the hole, you can always dig deeper. <laughs> Story of my life. And you might see that other wind now, in fact. Ooh. He sees the first talent, he sees the movement, he definitely knows now. And, yep. Yeah, about those production bugs. I think they won't last too long. Arch is still super annoying in the main. No creeping on the TC. Tinker third. Super old school. Hmm. Lina's supply stuck. Fourth borrow perhaps a little bit late. Yeah, it's finished now. Would love to get a heal scroll here as well. Doesn't have one yet. Oh. Now he collapses with the whole army. And snare on the Beastmaster. Oh, there's no preservation staff. This could have been a kill. I don't think he has a shop, right? <laughs> and that was a perfect display of why Pocket Factory is useless these days. Yeah. In a position like that. Does tend to die pretty quick nowadays. Tier 3 is done. Queuing the masses upgrade soon. But fairy fire and right clicks. Good combo. Mud Golem, not going to be long for this world. Got have another slow though. Maybe that can lead to a kill. Pocket Factory, very far in front once again. Pretty easy kill. And there's a heal scroll here. Fall in that he's going <coughs> to get quite a bit of use of out of here pretty soon. Potentially. Easy level 2. Shockwave available. Oh, Beastmaster in trouble. More and more ensnares. Late Master oh. commits. Oh, so close. Come on. TC X decapitation. Oh, ensnare in four, three, two, one. Ready. He did. Thank you, Fezzo Fesp, for the 18 month resub. Guys, you rock. Fezzo, you rock. Thank you very much. Only level one hero here, the Beastmaster. He's gonna be back very soon. Demon, did he finally get to three? No, he didn't. And you know what he doesn't have to creep with? Ancient of War. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Too rough. But he does have a pocket factory, which kind of helps. TC Shockwave, by the way. We've seen some Shadow Hunters against Talon recently. Then we've also seen like TC by accident. Uh, but then they went Storm. Lin goes. All out old school. And I'm Hell yeah. very much looking forward to these shockwaves because Lin was the OG of perfect shockwaves. Yeah, and if there ever is a map to creep level 5 TC on, it's this one. But also, lots of creep potential for the Night Elf once he finally gets a decent army and decent heroes, but <laughs> we're not there yet. Root Bracers. That's definitely not worth keeping. Ah, damage mitigation from Shockwave? Come on, once he gets the... Oh, okay. He's also got autocast turned on, so this was a lot of fairy fire used against the creeps. We need Cyclone. Master training is finished, and that's exactly what we were talking about. Like, army in the main, buildings exposed, raiders pretty good. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt, Neo, no doubt. He'll scroll again. Blade Master's coming in. What about the rest of the crew? Oh, speaking of these OG perfect shockwaves, that was not one of them. <laughs> that was only level one, right? He was just throwing it out. It's gonna come in later. TC was getting blue balled to get something out. Yeah, yeah that's... Now, you may notice, huh, this map doesn't have a lot of choke points, does it? Mm -hmm. And then I can tell you, you're absolutely right, my good friend. These talons are just running around with their, uh, 
almost said something bad. Um, yeah, with no idea where to go. But actually, some still remain alive, and Lin is booking it out of there. Nice save there on the raider also. But you know what? Infi holds his ground and only lost one Ancient of Wind, I guess. Yeah, but... He lost a couple of talents and you want to have them back at 50 supply in no time. And with one engine of wind, that's gonna take some time. He's cancelling the expansion and leaves the game. One, one. Yeah, realized with the two towers up there, it was only a matter of time before that expo was done. I am very amused. Can you tell? Why is that? I don't know. Fun what they play. <laughs> so we had two matches. You are like, you say you're really good at like odds and stuff and chances and whatever. <laughs> yeah, I say that all the time. <laughs> Last time you were, uh, we had a little argument about that. But so we had one player um, each with their main race. What are yes. the odds that one or both players now get their main race again? Or what are the odds that we get a non-main race matchup now? Previous events don't influence future events. So it's the same odds every time. It doesn't answer my question. Um, well, both players have a 25% chance again to hit their main race. If you uh, if you want to get the mathematical answer, I think it's that one. And the game is going to be starting here shortly. No rest for the wicked. Equiles will be mat number three. I think a more interesting question is, though, what would be the most fascinating matchup that these two could play against each other? What would make for the most interesting game? Reverse race. And see how they approach that and how they counter their opponent's approach. Yeah, I think so too. And I want to finally see Infi with Undead main. Not in 2-on-2, two two, but 1-on-1. One one. Yeah. I would like to see him play something off the wall, crazy, macro focus, undead wise as well. But we just saw him play Night Elf, and that was kind of standard, pretty boring one base talents. Still so surprised that he didn't, didn't go Keeper Expo, especially on Twisted. How could that happen? Yeah, I don't know. Is the Keeper really, really bad against one of the others? You can play Mass Air against Undead. It's not that great, but it's not horrible. I think it could work. Against Human, you can play Sonic Harass style. It's doable as well. But oh well. That game is behind us. This next game now will tell us who claims the match point to try to advance into the finals where Law Light is already waiting. The Korean Night Elf defeated the Moon earlier in the mirror with a 3-0 performance. That was crazy. Yes. Really, really impressive. So waiting for the game to be available and watch. What happened to him in Next, by the way? Who? To Law Light. Mm, he got kicked out. Didn't even make top eight. Ooh, he was not a group with Moon and Lin. All right, that's a tough. Group. <laughs> that's a tough. Group. That's an answer right there. So we have the game. It's live, and Neo, as if the gods were trying to answer your prayers. It's with reverse race. Oh, that is lovely. Human Lin versus Orc Infi. If he plays Stasis Traps again, I'm gonna I'm gonna found the Infi fan club. He has very cool ideas. 
playing Orc. He's not gonna play Blade Master, is he? Farseer is just such an infi hero. <laughs> there we go. One one. Infi upper right. Farseer it is. Lin upper left. This uh, is oh my god, there's gonna be so many viewers tuning in and saying, oh, overlay is wrong! <laughs> Overlay is wrong! Neo! Back to Warcraft! Highlight! 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 <laughs> but we have the nice people in chat that can enlighten the new viewers that this is random random. And reverse race. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And so far, you know, the race rolling has been uh, a bit of fun that the two players are having here in this open qualifier. But post the race choice they have been playing super try hard yeah so i'm looking forward to them playing their best off race here in the reverse race scenario starting off with an am creep at the green that's certainly looking pretty standard and the footy scout now tells lynn and also tells the orc what's happening so yeah infi blindly went into into farseer could have been an Orc Mirror with a Farseer. Could have been against Nylov with a Farseer. He's kind of lucky, I guess, that he's playing against human and not anything else. I have to trick my brain so hard to realize that the human is Lin and the Orc is Infi. Well, that's not so hard, but... Human Lin is uh, with an Orc on the battlefield. It's a hard task for me. Fast tech? Pretty quick here, not on two farms only, but on three, so can go for some more footies as well. And a tower coming up now. I like this creep by Infi, is preventing the level two on the AM. And I think Lin is stuck in his base here a little bit too much. He's uh, wanting to make sure really badly that this arcane comes up. And this is the first little mistake here. Not returning damage on to Infi as he was stealing this green away. Yeah. A little inexperienced, maybe, by Lin. And this is, I think, what Infi just loves. Playing Farsia, changing hits, attack. being annoying, harassing, stealing stuff away. And waiting for the tech. Oh, and almost getting one peasant. He's probably going to get it. And Lin going for counter-aggression. On level 1, AM. 42 desk. Oh, and the Grunt is already scouting for the green camp creep. That's pretty cool. I feel like one thing that non-human main race players keep on making the mistake of is taking too much damage on the AM. Does that include you? That does include me, yes. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty much defended. And that's a lot of time gone for Lin. No blacksmith for Lin, by the way. So this seems to be mass caster play. A player's forces are under attack. Will he play the breaker style that Infi loves so much? Oh, oh, look at this creep. Creeping the merc camp with only a handful of footies. Yeah, mercs. Can't take a lot of damage from this thing. Throw in a stomp chain lightning right there into the next fight. <laughs> Could be painful. Also, at this stage of the game, do you need a shadow priest? A player's forces are under attack. Want some earlier dispel, I guess? Beastery and Spirit Lodge and TC. Quite some normal stuff. Creeping up the natural here for Solo Creep on the TC. Farseer beyond level 2 is satisfied with his progress. And I like that. TC, of course, needs those levels pretty badly. But the AM also gets level 3 Players fairly quick. Are under attack. All right, so what's the build? Double Sanctum indeed, Mountain King second, Wyvern to open things up. We see this more and more and more. 
expansion is very early, but it's not gonna come up. This AM is a man with a plan, and his plan is to cancel this Great Hall. Which will definitely work. Level 2 Watch Elementals. Or can anybody even steal the last hit? No. no. TC got it. Yeah, that was a big deal. Can you still get this Great Hall? Yeah, wait a minute. Did he focus too much on this Grunt? Oh my god. Lin, what, what did you do? Gone. Level 2, now oh. we have Stomp, but he cancels anyway. Dodges the Stomp. Well played by Lin. Whew, that was, that <laughs> was are, almost. Who are we to question the War Chief? The War Chief. I am the War Chief. True. That's Lin. Well, that Wind Rider didn't survive long. Same Turns goes, out Berserker, pretty good. Same goes for that Shadow Priest. TC comes in with a better Stomp, hopefully. Aiming for this Archmage, moves away. Oh, Stormbolt oh. surround by Lin. Ooh. Easy as it and gets, but an invite to a Stomp. Still a TP, though. Oh, the Grunt, the Grunt, the Grunt. Yep. Ooh. Well, suddenly this game turned into a disaster. <laughs> that was really fast. Just a minute ago, it seemed like Infi was doing well, and click, cancelled. clack, boom, bop. Seems like the game's over. Cancelled. Cancelled. Cancelled again. Another Wyvern, more Shaman, but... Lin? In good control. Going Storks, though. Not the Infi build. Do they have only one priest? No, two priests. And now a dip. Okay. Two priests, three swords. Greater mana. If there's an item that could swing this game around again, it's definitely this one. Needs higher levels though. Level 2 TC is not enough. The thing to remember also is there's no TP anymore on the orc side. Yeah, NP's gotta be careful. Lin. Has an exit if he wants to, going for this Wyvern again. The Storm was good on the Priest, takes two of them out, but pays with a Wyvern again. That means no Dispel. Lightning Shield could actually be quite impactful, but it's not finished yet upgrading. Second Wyvern dead as well. Sorks are pretty good against Orc, huh? Yeah, I thought so too, until Infi stopped playing them. Lin showing him that they're worth it. Oy, oy, oy. There's one purge, two purges. Why is he not using Because he taps out. And Lin wins this. Okay. Two, one. That was uh, less interesting than I thought it would be. That was just kind of <laughs> like one creep jack, one storm bolts around, and that's the game. Yep. Okie dokie. Ah, yeah, WGL qualifiers. Always a little something special. Yeah, right? But of course... Uh, this could absolutely be double random in the final again, couldn't it? Absolutely, yes. As I said. <laughs> Has Lola done this before? He played... Play uh, random. I'm not sure if random, he definitely played off race. It was up against Sock, and he picked random, then Sock played undead. Yeah, think, it was undead versus human, right? Thank you, Lieutenant Frank Drabin, for the four month resub. Keep it up. Thank you, we will. Thank you, thank you. One more map win. And Lin would make it to the final here to make it an all South Korean affair. A former team newbie affair. Yes. Just one to zero. Throwing his games in the round of eight. Still mad about that. It feels like we're not deserving to get a full out best of three between Moon and one to zero without trolling. We saw it at uh, WGL a while ago. Did you see the games of WCAA? There was a 2-1, but I didn't see the games. 
Uh, didn't we cast that, or was no, it the day we weren't cast? Finals, and that was the day we weren't cast. When they all of a sudden decided, "Hey, yeah, we're gonna have the finals now." Ah, yeah, without an announcement. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Um, I don't think I did. Infi, infi again, <laughs> kind of yes. I think this game was over, honestly. Yes. That berserker. Helps out a lot against Windriders, it turns out. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe Infi should have played more aggressively against the AM creeping. Felt like he did a good job, and then all of a sudden the expo got cancelled, and then the job wasn't too good anymore. Yeah. Maybe playing expo before the first couple of shaman is a little greedy. <laughs> a little, yeah, I think. A little bit. Here we go. So what are we getting now? Amazonia it is. Night Elf Mirror. Yoo <laughs> so Remo again with the task of telling us who's who? Envy's bottom left. Infi is bottom left. In the red this time. Match points for Lin in this random, random affair. We've seen a Knight of Mirror here before. That was Potom Potom. This is very unlikely as both are random. You don't want to play a Potom at all. Never. <laughs> that would be some crazy dice rolling. That would be some stream abusing or something. <laughs> so the question is Keeper or Demon? Both uh, are kind of viable. I think Keeper, Keeper. Keeper? Keeper, Dima! Dima! Demon! Which normally on paper works out better for the Demon Hunter. Once you get level 3, you throw in those burns and suddenly... This intelligence hero, without mana, doesn't do that much anymore. Alright, so... Lin not playing Keeper is interesting to me. Do you feel a certain allegiance with one of the three archetypes in this game? Strength, Agi, or Intelligence Heroes? Come on, dude. I'm definitely Intelligence. Isn't that noticeable? How smart I am? I mean, I'm more talking about playstyle that you like. I'm serious. Uh, oh, deny. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm all for intelligence. I like caster play. I like to use spells. You know, Carl Nova, pretty good. Even though it's technically one strength hero, but it's still spell casting. And I like banshees. I like shaman. I like witch doctors. I like all that intelligence stuff. Are you a little sad that we saw no witch doctor in the last game? Very. That's Sorry, th that's that's the reason he lost. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Ah, you never know. Have they scouted each other yet? I'm not sure. I mean, <laughs> they probably should have. This is random, random. Ah, who knows? It's pretty I'll straightforward openings, right? Just creeping up this demon. Just get up those demon levels. Get up those items as well. Double slippers, gloves. That's amazing. Oh, wow. I thought you were just saying what items would be good, but that's the actual inventory. Yeah. That is indeed amazing. Oh, and I can contest the Taskmaster as well. The Keeper's out of mana. Oy. Oh my god, this opening is looking so good for them. Yeah. Um, he's catching quite some damage now, though. I need to retreat, but this prevents level 3. Keeper for quite some time. Oh, the Invis Archers. A player's forces are under attack. Uh -huh. is under siege. If he lasts his this with an archer. That'd be dope. Gotta be careful with that demon hunter here. Uh, he got it! Are you kidding Le me? Mau. Are you freaking kidding me? Archers at this stage have pretty much no damage. What? 
Such a god. Such a god. Oh my. Okay, Hansel now. Tier 2 on the way. Infi slightly behind, but man, level 3 keeper is a gift on this map usually. It's prevented for so long. And the demon getting level 3 faster because of this. Ooh, takes on the little shitty wizards. I just can, like that, level 3. You can burn him so hard now. Swoop. Huh? Actually, no swoop. Cues it. Can't reach though. Pretty fast. Keeper. Dude, Infi is looking pretty screwed in this game, <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah. Forces are under attack. There's something about Infi and Amazonia that's just not right. Alright, who's got the faster tech, by the way? Second hero time. Well, it's basically at the same second. Atomura pretty close, then the Demon Hunter comes in, ruins the party. Same for the Naga. Naga on Naga. Actually, no archers die here. That's pretty interesting. Good saves across the board. And now we're going into bears, apparently. Yes. Oh wow, Lin smells the next creep jack. God damn, how does he have such good game sense with his off race? Isn't that just crazy? It's, it's kind of disgusting, yes. He has no potion, does he have a staff? No. Doesn't need that. Ah, oh, Naga survives, lol. The keeper getting bouldered and dies, and the item stolen, perhaps. Well, that was a hell of a semi final. <laughs> Game over after 5 minutes 54. Classic Infi. And again, Chinese out, all Korean grand final. Best of five between Law Light and Lin. To we be fair, Lin played this really well, though. Like, even the human mirror was, was kind of competitive. That was super sick. This Demon Hunter player was super sick. Archer lasted, man. Unbelievable. Pretty good. Yeah. Who would have thought, huh? That it would go this way. There's no one. So I wonder if we see a normal game now. Chat was mostly right, by the way. 60% were putting their uh, money, I guess, on Lin. Yeah. Um, let's hope for a good series. Lola, it seems to be on fire. 3 owing Moon. Lin with random. Stronger than NP with random. In the matchups they drew. And the grand final is coming up. And afterwards, ESL Cup with happy playing random. Lots of random today. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs>